Hey there, boys and girls and parents. This is a Bible story video about the burning bush from the Old Testament, from the book of Exodus. This was Moses and the book, the book, the bush that wouldn't burn. Uh, and this is from Exodus chapter 3. And look at Moses there in front of this burning bush. Uh, well, let's talk about this. This is from, a, uh, these wonderful pictures are from a book called 100 Bible Stories, 100 Bible Songs, uh, and we're showing you them here. It's okay to do so under fair use, uh, which means that it's okay to show uh, copyrighted images and things like this uh, for review, critique, and for free educational use like we're doing here. So what is the story about the burning bush? Uh, well, Moses was this guy here, uh, you know, and... Moses was in Egypt, which is in the northern part of Africa, uh, and uh, at one point uh, he lived there, and in the story, the Jewish people were slaves in Egypt. Uh, now, in reality, they've actually looked for any evidence of this. There's no evidence that the Hebrew uh, or Jewish people uh, ever were slaves in Egypt. There's no uh, archaeological you know findings they can't find any pottery or other signs that the Jewish people were ever uh, Egyptian slaves but in the story in the Bible they were so we'll go with that for now uh, for this video anyway um, so this guy Moses he runs away because he killed one of the Egyptians uh, and while he's out there in the desert, he maybe he hadn't had any water to drink in a long time or something, and he's having a hallucination. I don't know. But he sees this burning bush, and he hears a voice telling him to take off his shoes. Uh, because if there's one thing that, that you know, gods are always really big into is you know, whether you're wearing shoes and also they're really big into whether people wear hats. Sometimes they want people to wear hats, don't wear hats, wear a, you know, a yarmulke, you know, here, but don't wear you know, your hat in the church, if you wear it in the church, in the synagogue, if you're Jewish, and they're big into hats and apparently big into whether you're wearing your shoes. So God, who is the burning bush, you know, wants to tell Moses he's got to take off his shoes. Uh, that was the most important first thing to tell him. He said, Moses, take off your sandals. This is holy ground. So kind of like your mom or your dad would say, hey, you're coming in on the carpet. Take off those dirty shoes. Uh, so the first time God talks to Moses, this was his message. Take off your shoes. Um, and then what happened? First of all, why is he appearing as a, as a burning bush? Let's see what it tells us. You know, he Moses... He saw, you know, God spoke to him in a very odd way. Yeah, I'll say. Um, before Moses was a bush that burned in a brilliant flame, but the bush did not burn up. And then God spoke from the bush. All right, so this burning bush, what's up with that, right? Um, we know from the book of Genesis, you know, in our, you know, Holy Bible, um, that God supposedly created us in his own image, right? And I'm kind of thinking, you know, here we go, because we're in, you know, book of Genesis, chapter 1, um, and it says, you know, in uh, verse 26, God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. So God made humans in his own image, so then... You know, why not just show up and and um, say, hey, dude, Moses, how's it going, man? Here's some water. Let's chat. I got some plans for uh, for Egypt. But instead, he shows up as this burning bush. What's going on with that? Humans don't look like a burning bush. So the whole thing is starting to not make sense. Now, I don't know. You know, there are plants that have red leaves, and when the sun hits them, they look like they're burning. I have some here in my own neighborhood. I, and for me, I stop and I think, hey, that looks really cool. Isn't nature wonderful? We got some photosynthesis and it's making these different pigments and, and the sunlight reflecting off it is absolutely spectacular. Um, but I don't go taking my sandals off, walking up to the bush, uh, crawling on my knees, 
you know, listening for a voice to tell me what to do. That, boys and girls, is crazy. Um, and what's the whole idea? Of, like, why, what God, why is God showing this burning bush? You know, is he trying to impress Moses, you know? Did God just read the, you know, book on magic for dummies and think, oh, dude, here's a good one. I could, you know, I could make a burning bush. Was that in, you know, the Klutz book of magic? Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll make this burning bush, and that's really going to impress him. But I guess it did. It worked on him. And he told him, go back to Egypt and, um, and let the people, you know, have the slaves go free. And we'll talk about that maybe in another video. Um, but, the, but the point of this video is, um, does this make any sense, right? Does God speak to us through burning bushes? No, boys and girls, it doesn't make sense. The reason it doesn't make sense is because it's make-believe, all right? These are fairy tales. They're fantasies. The, the entire Bible is filled with them. Um, that, you know, they're old superstitions from way back when, when people would make up stories to tell around the campfire, and sometimes people would believe them, and maybe somebody died and they thought, boy, I think uh, old Grandpa Moses, he told these stories. Maybe they were really true. Um, but that's what religions are made up of. They're fairy tales. They're make-believe stories. They're fantasies and superstitions that have no proof, no evidence to really, you know, sh you know suggest that these things ever, ever happened. Um, so really, instead of listening to burning bushes, use your mind, right? Think, use logic, reason. If there is a God and he gave you your brain, you should use it to ask lots of questions and figure out what's really, really true and what's just make-believe. Um, do these religious stories make any sense? Do you ever see, you know, people listening to a burning bush, right? There's a lot more people nowadays. You, somebody would have to come across one of these burning bushes someplace. Um, it just, it's just crazy, right? The world doesn't work by talking bushes that are on fire but not really burning. Um, if there was a God so fantastic to create the entire universe, he's really going to show up as a burning bush, um, you know, that he decides, oh, I got a great way. I'll use a bush. I, I read about it in this book of um, how to make magic with everyday objects. Oh, dude, I could use a book. Uh, I could use a, a bush to make a really great trick and impress this Moses guy. Um, much better lessons than listening to burning bushes, boys and girls, would be to enjoy your real life. Embrace reality. Give reality a big hug. The world that we live in, the real world, is phenomenal. There's great, great things for you to do with your life. Uh, you should love your family, your friends, your neighbors, even your neighbors on the absolute other side of the planet and different countries. You should be nice to other people. Enjoy your life. Learn as much as you possibly can. Learn, you know, and you learn by asking questions and not always being satisfied with the first answer that you get um, and maybe not even the second or third answer, but really figure out for yourself what makes sense and what's really true. Uh, and uh, enjoy the life that you have. Make it awesome. Have fun and... Um, that's really my take-home message for this uh, Bible video. Okay, bye-bye.